Okay, hello my sumo peeps. I'm here with a tutorial, even though I said I wouldn't hardly do any more anymore, but I've discovered that when I learn something new, I can't really keep the secret, so I like to show you. Even though nobody will watch this, and everybody will go, ooh, I'll leave it out another stupid tutorial, but oh well, I enjoy it, though. If I ever forget how to do it, I'll remember. And what I'm going to show you how to do today is a glass globe, or mystic ball, or whatever you want to call that, just something similar to that. And uh, it's pretty easy. I made it originally and kind of adapted and they can they get once turned out a lot nicer but I adapted it to sumo and it turned out pretty good so let's go let's start a new image let's expand it just so it's more even let's take that to black actually I'm gonna change that let's take that to the gradient and we'll just kind of do it like this and adjustments to saturation because it needs to be pretty dark okay so there you go we'll start a new layer this layer we're going to take to black, okay? And then we're going to start another layer, and we're going to get the paintbrush. Take the size all the way up, take the flow all the way up, and let's go to your 3D brushes. And this is kind of fun because everybody likes working with sparkles, so first we'll choose a nice bright blue color. And you can choose any color you like, anything works. And retransform, let's make this bigger. And remember, if you, if you don't hold your hand or hold on the shift key, you can make this any. Uh, ah, freaking mail, go away. Anyway, um, make this pretty big. And if you had your hand on the shift key, you can keep it more square like that. So, let's go back to brushes. Let's choose this layer number four. And I just, this is just sort of choosing bright colors, whatever it works for you. And I discovered that you don't want to do those on the edge. Let's choose another flare. Choose that one. And bright pink. Red. Orange. Choose another flare. Basically, you can see where we're going. We're just, we're just doing stuff. Okay, so here you go. Then you go, how is that going to turn into a ball? Well, you have two choices here. You could just take this layer, which is just the clear background with your sparkles, and go up to here, filters, 3D objects, and not the one you think, to cylinder, to polar coordinates, which as you can see, if you look up here, you basically made a sphere with a lot of sparkles. But the key is that if you were to do it like this, and you were, say, you wanted to fill it with smoke or put things inside of it, if you go to select pixels, you're just selecting the actual pixels, not the clear parts. So, my solution to this was to merge this down to the black layer. I can read, I want to merge down, I'm going to merge down, merge down, okay. And then we're going to go to filters, 3D, cylinder, and this looks so you can see it, to polar coordinates, and look at that, we have a sphere. And this is where you want to kind of play with it, um, see which things work for you. I like to kind of push push the boundaries of that so it looks more like the kind of shiny spots on my globe. And let's say we like that, okay, so we push OK. Now let's duplicate this layer. Top layer, retransform. Yeah, let's kind of just move it a little bit like that. And select pixels. This is another thing because I have select pixels because I want to blur this a bit. I don't want all those to be so perfect. So filters, blur, Gaussian blur. See now it's sort of starting to mimic the uh, the look of a, a globe more. I want it to be a little bit blurry like that. Okay. Select, deselect, and then I'm going to choose screen so that everything shines through. And we're going to do the same thing to this layer. Select pixels. Filters. And I'm trying to mind burp here. I'm trying to remember what I'm doing. Oh, blur. Closing blur. Let's not blur that quite as much as the other one. Let's run this down like a five. Okay. Select, deselect. And let's go ahead and change the color a little bit. Adjustments, hue, and saturation. So we get kind of a you know, different coloring around, and I'm just looking for something that I like. Okay, I think we'll leave it 
make that enough. Okay, you can see that we have both layers showing through, so I'm going to merge that down. Okay, and again, I'm going to select pixels because there's a black edge around here, which some people might like, for some reason I don't. So I'm going to select pixels, and go up here to select, contract, shrink it by 10. Okay, select, inverse, edit, cut, select, deselect, and you can see how that just takes off that black edge and makes it look like a globe. Now this is something you can go ahead and um, keep if you wanted to like uh, adjust the cube saturation, like that gold globe that I showed you, I could colorize and you can take it to any color you want, or you can leave those multicolors. And I'm gonna say leave those multicolors. So and the way to make this look like a glass globe, very easy. Put it on screen. And you can see have basically a glass globe there, a see-through. If we were to put an object behind it, I'll show you here. Layer down, and we'll set our brushes back to black. And we're gonna brush. And we'll do this black wall. And we'll wait for Sumo to work. And you can see that's actually behind the glass globe. See how we're seeing beyond it. Clouds. Our filters, noise, clouds. And let's keep doing that so it gets the clouds to look kind of cool. Uh, sometimes we get noisier clouds, which I like better for this. But sometimes it takes a few tries. Sometimes it takes a lot of tries. Sometimes if we're filming, we don't get what we want quickly enough. <laughs> Okay, that looks good now. So let's go to adjustments levels. And bring out our blacks. Bump up our whites. Push OK. Select, deselect. You go, what happened? Okay, let's move above that above it. And see, we have clouds in there. We can also take our clouds because we can't see beyond those and put those on screen as well. And now you have, say, a magic ball or crystal ball filled with smoke and you can put a face in there or something if you wanted to. So we'll merge that down. Actually, let's go ahead and cut these cloud layers a bit so just make it a little less. And merge down. And now you have a ball. And again, if you wanted to, adjustments, cube saturation. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> adjustments, cube saturation. If you wanted to change your colors or kind of tone it down a little bit, just tone down the colors, brighten it up, you don't want to play with that too much. Okay. And again, if you want to see how you can see beyond this, so I'm take this back layer, filters, pixelate, choose mosaic, see how we're seeing beyond that. Do whatever you want. effects lately so these are what you can do so really you can do anything you want with this turn it into a crystal ball turn it into a soap bubble um, make uh, uh, Christmas ornaments out of it really all kinds of stuff but I'm gonna say crystal ball because that's what that reminds me of so then all we would have to do is put this on a nice little stand and uh, and put something in there like you'll notice I did one called the death of me where I put a skull and crossbones in there so this challenge for you is to make one of these and go ahead and do whatever colors you want. You can make it a solid color, you can make it black and white, whatever, and show me the future. In fact, I'm gonna call this Show Me the Future Challenge. Anyway, hope you like this. Talk to you later. Bye.